Hey you guys, today I'm doing my 100x100 review for episode 18. And with this episode, we kind of get to see, um, you know, the end of last episode, last episode where we got the snakes that surround the, the rest of the gang. And try to attack them, and try to poison them. And so all of them was all kept thinking, how are they going to get out of this? Like, if they try to go anywhere, or try to fight, they're just going to try to attack them, and it's just going to end badly for them. So there's no way, there's no way they can get out of this. Like, I swear to God, just rolls himself into like a wall with this. Like, this is impossible. But yet, this series finds some way, some way for these characters to escape. And it's so genius and so like, oh my god, I did not see that coming at all during any side of the field where we just get a scene of Gone, he goes right in for that man to try and take the um, elixir that can like heal their wounds up really quickly and he gets bit all over him and he's about to die. But he still managed to get it, even without, even despite all of that. And that takes a lot of guts. I mean, lots, a lot of guts. Because those things could have killed him. He could have been dead. It could have not been on him. And I just thought that was, that was genius on the writer's part. That, it, just, it was absolutely genius. I love that scene. It was great. But man, man, wow. Of course, that's not the end there either. They they do escape and they get through all their badges they need, um, to um, complete the phase for the end of the day. And you know what else we got what happens in the end of this? All they get all their badges. Um, they're inside the little boats, and they're gonna go on to the next phase. And they're gonna get ready for the final phase. And the old man who we saw on the a few episodes before. With the white beard and stuff. He starts to interview each one of the contestants who have made it through this far. And we wants to ask them what draws them to keep going. Why they had gone this far at this point in time. And I love the way Isoka answers it. Because he is sounding like the most menacing, most vile way of, of all of them. And it's very interesting to see what each one of their answers are to all of his questions as well. Because some things you, I mean, a lot of them are kind of expected, but a lot of them also aren't kind of expected. Um, and I guess this is all to set up, so he can set up these brackets for them. So, cause, so, I guess, so that we, can, I guess, can get like a type of, type of a world tournament type arc set up. We're going to get a bunch of matches with them inside, like, it's kind of a turn over brackets and each of them fighting it out each way. Which sounds pretty interesting to me. Something that would probably be something I would be interested in seeing. So I can't wait to see what, who's going to be matched up against who, who's going to fight who, and who's going to end up out on top. So there you guys, this is my review for Hunter x Hunter. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments below. Hope you guys watched it as well. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.